Hi everyone and welcome to this session. This session is all about site analysis for solar rooftop system. So let's get started. Why is site analysis important? So as you can see, I have made a list of things which is needed for successful completion of any solar project. Site analysis is very important because it is the first step in every solar project. You find out the feasibility of site by analyzing the site. There are many things which includes in site analysis. We will discuss it very soon. Site analysis also consists of site information and data which makes our journey easy. And keeping site analysis data in mind, we can design a system and plan for site preparations and deliver materials on the site followed by installation testing and commissioning of the project. This also includes operation and maintenance. Before going to site visit, make sure you have following things in your bag. So this is the checklist for site visit. First, you need to have a notepad and pen to note down some information about the location. You must have a measuring tape to measure the area of location. A compass is must for identify the directions, camera for taking photographs, angle finder, yes, if there is any angle on the roof, so you can find the angle of the slope using angle finder, pocket torch to reach dark places and of course a smartphone which will comprise your compass, camera, angle finder and pocket torch in one device and don't forget Google maps application. So now you are ready with your tools for site visit. But can you name some of the parameters on which you will select proper site for solar PV installation? Yes you can but I am here to help. These are the site selection criteria. You have to check whether solar radiations are available on the site. Is site acceptable by road? This is very important during delivering the materials on the site. Is grid available on site? On that basis, we will decide to go on grid or off grid. Check whether what's the climate and topology of the site. What are the geological issues there? How much shadow free area is available and so on. By the way, I have made tips and tricks for site analysis. So please note them down. First thing, check out the coordinates of location of site using Google Maps. You also can use Google here. For example, I have searched the coordinates of my city Nagpur and here it is. The latitude of Nagpur is 21.14 degree and longitude is 79.08 degree. Now what is latitude and longitude? Lines going vertical on the earth is latitude and lines going horizontal across the earth are longitude. Latitudes will be useful for determining the tilt angle of solar panels. Next, take out the detailed measurement of total open area in feet and meters using measuring tape. Also take out the orientation of building roof. Check out where slopes are oriented and in which direction. Avoid trees and tall buildings shadows coming on the area. You do not want any shadows coming on solar panels. Always look for south facing shadow free area. You might be thinking why always south? As you can see this is the world map and there is an equator going through the middle of the earth which divides map into two parts. One is north hemisphere and upper part and second is south hemisphere which is lower part. As India lies in north hemisphere and if you are in India and you want to see the sun, you have to face south. That's why solar panels in India face a south direction. On the other hand, if you are in Australia, which is in south hemisphere, so solar panels will face north in Australia. That's very simple. Now we are coming to the tilt angle. Earth is always rotating around the sun. So the tilt is the tilt of solar panel also varies with time. As you can see in these images, 
in winter take the date of 21st of december when sun is near the horizon and you need large steel tangle to face the sun on the on the other hand during summers take the date of 21st june sun is over the head so we require less steel tangle of solar panel to face the sun so during the whole year till tangle varies with season to season but if you are using fixed structure it is also recommended to go for till tangle nearly equal to your latitude if you have any sun tracking system it's the best thing you can have to face your solar panels to sun coming to the solar annual radiation also known as the average global direct radiation it is the average amount of energy you received on your location it also varies with times to time in summer it is on the peak but during monsoon it goes down due to clouds but we need to take the average value which we will take in consideration during calculations this is the solar radiation map of india showing how much intensity of solar radiation fall on every part of india and this is the graph of average global radiation of city nagpur the average value is 5.47 kilowatt hours per meter square per day it means in an average day i will get 5.4 kilowatt hours energy from one square meter of area in one day is quite confusing but if you divide this number by solar panel testing standards that is 1000 watts per meter square we will get the sun peak hours that's we required 5.47 hours as you know sun rises at 6 am and sun sets at 6 pm but for solar panels we will consider only 5.47 hours which will be optimum from whole day you also can find your site location solar energy radiation data online so check it out so next step draw the design of your location showing all the dimensions and directions showing all the trees and walls available in your location and showing how much area is available for placing the solar panels after that also find out the good location for setting the inverter remember it should be well ventilated and sun and rain proof also measure the cable length dc and ac cable requires on the site take photographs showing each and every aspects of the sites mark out cable routing in photographs also very important mark location for earthing pit last but not least take the electric bill photocopy from site owner we will require it for calculations so that's all let's see some cases of site survey which i did as you can see there we have wonderful south facing area used for mounting solar panels yeah i have 100 feet by 20 feet roof but look but look at the right hand side tree which can be responsible for the shadow so check out this type of tree coming in your way here is the top view of the site taken from google maps so i get to know that i can use this roof for placing solar panels but i have to take care of the trees this is swami narayan temple at nagpur so we have three buildings building number 1 2 and 3 this is building 1 which is swami narayan hostel having 100 by 25 feet slope kind of shade towards south this is shown in dark red color so that's very useful for placing panels because it's also facing south in building number 2 called prasadam we have red color areas where we can place panels the best thing is these areas are elevated so not any issue of shadows third building is sant nivas here we have 85 by 25 feet open area which is also elevated where we can place our panels so these are the maps of swaminarayan temple premises buildings google maps 
helps me most because it's providing the top view of the building but you have to go to the exact site for measuring the area available on site here i am concluding this session in which we go through the importance of site visit we checked the tools required for site visit we gone through the site selection criteria i told you tips and tricks for site visit we also gone through the case studies of site visit of course i have referred google maps for this and please check this website called www.solarpaneltilt.com where you will find more about solar panel tilt here is your google assignment of course you have to do site analysis of your rooftop take the detailed design mark out everything and find the shadow free area which faces south draw it on paper and try to fix maximum panels in this area make the blueprint of panel orientation try to design a structure choose a safe location for your inverter placement and find out some android applications for site visit sorry i am extending this session but i have got something special for you here are some android application available for site survey actually they are not for site survey but they are very helpful for site survey so first of all we have sun surveyor which shows the real time location of sun throughout the year month and even an hour it's very cool to use this it also has compass which calibrated the exact location of sun you find out where the sun lies in winter or summer next is the sun locator it's also the same type of application but as you can see here you can also analyze the shadow here it's also cool you can see the position of sun in augmented reality throughout the various time zone next is scan the sun this is very very cool application how it works let's see in this video